We are tipping off the 2K TV virtual rap party in the theater today. We are going 3v3, and we've got some members of the community joining us here today. So let's introduce our members right now. We've got Dad Girl Megan and King Jordan. Welcome to the show. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. It's good seeing you, Alexis and LD, and having Danny the Gold on my team. And May, oh, this is going to be a exciting show today. I'm ready. How are we? Welcome sports fans, thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be the Denver Nuggets going up against the Brooklyn Nets. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. The forward spots will be Bridges and Johnson. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Thomas. And it's Simmons in at the five. And for Denver, the small and power forwards are Porter and Gordon. MP out there with Jamal Murray. And it's Jokic in at the five spot. Getting closer to the midpoint of the season, Brent, what should coaches be thinking about at this time of the year? Well, this is a time when teams can start to lose a little bit of focus. So how does a coach keep the team fresh, looking at different ways in which you might involve a different play, a different scheme? That helps the players kind of revolve around new ideas. Tip off goes to Brooklyn. Hey, get on tennis. Schroeder looking over the floor. Johnson outside. Bangs home the trifecta. That's what makes Johnson so difficult to guard. He's got that quick trigger. Murray against Schroeder. Murray the pass to MP. Shoots over Schroeder. Murray, no good. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against the Chicago. Oh! Ben Simmons. Yeah, whenever Simmons gets a chance to show off his insane jumping skills these seasons. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam King. Now, here's Jokic. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11.5 points a game. Schroeder. That shot is off. Murray with the defensive effort. Porter inside. He's against Bridges. Jokic. He's now one for two with that bucket. Size and touch of Jokic just too much. Finishing with power and finesse. Boy, Brooklyn GA did all they could to assemble a championship team, and look what happened. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, you take your swings in this league, and sometimes Kevin it works. Thomas. Sometimes Three. you have to retool, and they still have some good players to build around. Here's Murray following the three-pointer by Brooklyn. The kick out to Porter. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And I like that from Murray. Not an extra dribble. Get the ball to the open teammate right away. Jokic against Simmons. Johnson surveying the floor. Jokic grabs the miss. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. And there's the bucket from MP. Watch how MP uses that dribble move to open things up. He got the defender way out of position. Here's Schroeder following the basket by MP. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Here's Bridges. Murray with the defensive effort. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. And it's Murray with the chain. Got so many tools, and then you forget how good Murray is athletically. Gets up that time. For Brooklyn, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. The drive by Schroeder for Murray. And it's Schroeder missing. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And the basket by Gordon. Aaron Gordon is one stringy dude. When he gets the ball down low, it's hard to stop him. It. And it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for the Nets. 
trailing by two. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. Yeah, tough game on the road. The, the guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just Dennis not shooter. enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. On the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a Substitution on the court. Simmons looking around. Puts it up from 12. Goes back up. That's in. He's got two ben made Simmons. now, and he's shooting two for three. And forget the pretty offensive skills. Simmons using his length to get some gritty points on that play. Underneath in the post, it's Gordon and Jokic. Jamal Murray is out there with MP. And it's Porter and at the three spot. That's the group on the four for Denver. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now here's Murray. Let's it go. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. That's leading by three. And Brent, what do you say when it comes to Jamal Murray? It's all about staying healthy from here on out. Well, we've seen both sides of it, right, Greg? When he's healthy, they're good. When Jamal Murray is not in the lineup and not confident in what he can provide to the lineup, not so much. So when Jamal is healthy, Jamal's a superstar. Tough to box out Jokic, not only strong, but long. Brooklyn's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the free ball here. And Jackson with the stop. Go into the rack with energy. And the D's afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defender. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. And Aaron Gordon gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Shooter last year accepting his role of coming off the bench and being a scorer. So whatever it is the coaching staff is asking of him, he's willing to do it. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And the classic, the bank shot. Very popular at one time. Brett, what happened to him? I think the only time you really see it, Kevin, is when guys are going in for layups at full speed and trying to take some of that speed off the basketball. But guys really just don't get the ball in possession where they're going to use a good angle off the glass. Those are usually mid-range shots. How many of those do you see? There's Schroeder following the score by Aaron Gordon. With the floater, Simmons trying to get open. And there's the nice layup by Johnson. Johnson's got four points now in the quarter. And trust me, Dennis Schroeder would love to score the basketball, but his ability to set up his teammates is also effective. Here's MP. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Brooklyn leading by five. Simmons with it. Now defended by Jokic. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going in this court. Spreading the wealth. MP just has a knack for doing that on and off the field. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Twitter passes to Simmons. Johnson outside. Simmons trying to get open. A shot by Johnson, no good. He gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. For the finish, a huge slam. The perfect end of the fast break. Well, good job by Schroeder using his quickness, this time defensively grabbing the steal. 
Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. Well, they, they came into that Some game on the looking board. to be physical, looking to control the boards, and they succeeded. Well, the last time it was about feeding off of the glass and getting rebounds to ignite the offense, and that came up big for them. Great opportunities to get out and run. Catching up on the changes for Denver. Christian Brown comes in for Aaron Gordon, and it's Contavious Caldwell Pope in for MP. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. The Nets have been forced to pivot from their star-crossed super team era. The what-ifs are fading into the rearview mirror. Now it's people like Mikael Bridges that are going to form the next new era. Rest assured, this team has dug its way out of far worse. With the draft assets and two-way talent on their roster, their aim is to remain competitive. Kevin? I think they are. David, thank you for the report. Kevin and the basket Thomas. by Thomas. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Caldwell Pope outside. Out to the right wing. Here's Brown. The rebound by Watford. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Schroeder finds Thomas. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes the three. That doesn't go either for Thomas. The Nuggets trail by five. Here's Caldwell Pope. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And KCP right now just not backing down. That's his second first Breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Nets. And just a great job so far applying pressure defensively. The opposition is on their heels with the ball in their hand. Nightmarish clamps thus far. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal and you can get out and transition. They seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for Brooklyn. And going against Denver, their first meeting of the season. A, a matchup that only happens twice a year. These interconference battles can be a lot of fun. Yeah, this one will be for sure. Interconference matchups are always pretty fascinating just because of the timing on scouting and how often you watch teams like this affect some of the unpredictability of the East-West battle. 35 seconds left in the first half of the game. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Nuggets have gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Pass to Caldwell Pope. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first half. Caldwell Pope against Thomas. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. His first personal foul. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Free throw good from Thomas. Outside Jackson. Can't cash in from close range. And that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. Your Nets lead by 40. The Nets. 43. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. The Nuggets trail by three. 
And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. The forward spots will be Bridges and Johnson. Thomas is out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Simmons in at the center, locking down the middle. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Now the pass to MP. Murray with it. Now Thomas defending. Passes to Jokic. Let's it go from 14. Good as the jump shot falls. Jokic just got the first bucket of the third here for the Nuggets. Schroeder against Murray. From 12 feet out. And stolen by MP. Jokic finds MP. Back to Jokic. Thomas with the steal. Schroeder, left side. Pass to Simmons. Over Murray. And again, no good by Brooklyn. The Nuggets have gone one of three since starting the second half. For the lead, he lays it in. Murray's got seven points in the game. You know when Murray is being aggressive, it's when he's in the frame of mind to go in, get contact, and do damage at the line. Now here's Johnson. He's got seven. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic just got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. I'm not sure they realize it's not halftime anymore. Four attempts, and they're still looking for their first bucket. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. On the wing, Johnson, defended by Gordon. Schroeder with the ball. He's got eight. Lock it four. Over Porter. And that one goes long. Oof. Ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless with their first five attempts. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. Christian Brown's checked in for Denver. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Walker's checked in. Nets trail by three. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. And that one hits back iron. For Denver, they've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Porter, no luck. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Nothing yet for them in the third quarter. Stolen by Gordon. Porter with it. Now guarded by Schroeder. Tries it from 19. The shot's good. Porter's got the lead up to five now for the Nuggets. Porter more and more understanding where it is he should shoot and when it is he should shoot. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it and make the adjustment. A different look for Denver. Jordan's checked in for Jokic. Caldwell Pope comes in for Michael Porter. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Jamal Murray. The Nets also changing it up. Trendon Watford's checked in for Ben Simmons. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Bridges. And it's Dennis Smith in for Dennis Schroeder. Now here's Walker. He has six. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Here's Gordon. Caldwell Pope on the wing, covered by Smith. Takes the 13-footer. Second shot opportunity. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got his third basket of the night right there. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Pass to Walker. Back to Smith. And he can't stop the run as he misses. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. Well, the other team is scorching hot, and they come down on this end and can't find a way to get the embers going. 
Now here's Jackson. He's got seven. That's a clever play by Reggie Jackson, just knowing when to maneuver himself into the D and draw the foul. The Nuggets shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group, only around 75%. That's good from Jackson. It's been interesting as Reggie has finally seemingly found a home or at least confidence in the way he plays. He's a guy who can carry you on offense and he will score in bursts. And those will be very loud points. Catching up on the changes for Denver. Watson, he's checked in for Aaron Gordon. And Justin Holliday is subbed in for Christian Brown. Both free throws good from Jackson. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Nets trail by nine. Johnson outside. There's the pass to Watford. From deep, Walker sinks the three-pointer. Walker's got nine. And from beyond the arc, he puts a stop to that 12-0 run by Denver. Outside Jackson. Kicks to Holiday. The rebound by Watford. Brooklyn's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. This is it to finish Smith. And it's Denver with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. Just dicing through the lane there was Reggie Jackson. On the wing, Johnson. Pass to Watford. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. No good from Penny Smith. The Nuggets leading by eight. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. To the inside, Jordan kicks to Jackson. Puts up a three. Not gonna go that time. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. Nuggets ahead. They finish off the third quarter on a 14-3 run. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. Now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. And it's Thomas with the ball. He brings it up for Brooklyn. Eight-point game. The small and power forwards are Porter and Gordon. Jamal Murray is out there with MP. And it's Jokic in at the center position. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Porter Jr. moving the ball well. Nice to have a wing player help to be a facilitator. Nets trail by 10. Now Schroeder looking for Finney Smith, and he gets it there. Off on the layup. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Now Simmons following the three-point attempt by Jamal Murray. Here's Bridges. 
to Simmons. Upside Thomas. Over MP. Thomas, no luck. The Nuggets leading by 10. Here's Porter. And finished off by Porter. Oh, what a look. Jokic already joined the list of NBA's greatest passing big men. No doubt about that. The Nets have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Pass to Simmons. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Here's Finney Smith. Headshot off. Gordon with the defensive effort. Porter finds Jokic. Cruising basketball from Jokic. Such an outstanding effort there for the big man to stay focused with his shot. Jokic, tremendous concentration. They've been looking at a sink offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Timeout called. The Nets giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I see the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. With an update from the sideline. Let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Kevin Ollie said to his team. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort, gang rebounding, everyone involved. That was his only focus. Kevin? Thank you, David. Here's MP following the bucket by the Nets. Thomas passes to Simmons. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. And love watching Simmons run the floor. Just eating up so much space in so little time. Marie finds MP. Down low. Here's Jokic. Bridges with the board. Nets trail by 10. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Tries yet again. Denver grabs the miss. Porter looking it over. Outside for Murray. It's rebounded by Schroeder. The Nets have gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Porter against Thomas. And there's the pass to Simmons. Good on the shot. And that's Simmons got four points in the quarter. And here's a guy who loves playing inside. Simmons can play some bully ball down low. Denver calls timeout. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Cameron Johnson's checked in for Brooklyn. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Murray, the pass to MP. MP gets the job done in zone. Murray, Murray draws so much attention as an offensive player. Just calmly drops it off to the roller. Simmons trying to get open. And the basket by Thomas. Yeah, what a great option he gives them on every possession. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. Here's Murray. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. So I not only like the attack, but I love the angle of attack from Jamal Murray that time. And let's quickly check out the score breakdown here for the Nuggets. They've been playing some really physical offense, just attacking the paint as much as possible. And I tell you what, they have been very successful with that strategy. And they've also done a great job of just taking what the defense is giving them. Teams willing to give up a mid-range, take them, knock them down. They've done it. Now here's Thomas. Porter with a block. Porter standing at six foot ten, but he's got that huge wingspan. 
able to swat that one away. One fifty three left in the fourth quarter. Johnson finds Simmons. Just five on the clock. And MP just wanting to make something happen on the defensive end. He's actively hunting for stops. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Jokic has got three assists in the game. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, it feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. Oh, here's Gordon. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. And Aaron Gordon just forcing action that time through the arms and legs of the defense. A floater. Thomas's shot is off. Well, after an impressive first half, he's just not been able to get the room or get anything going here in the second. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Nuggets. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot Cameron of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And I think a great job in positioning themselves for the W here. It's win number 21 on the season. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this guy. Such an overall great performance it was for Jokic. Just a force on the glass did a fantastic job crashing the boards and coming up with seemingly every rebound. Thomas against MP. Thomas gets a wide open look. They get the rebound. And the whistle blows as the basket counts and a three-point play chance right. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony. Hey, need some help? Let's get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's get it started, man. Let's get it started.
see you want to work on your three-point shooting. Let's get set up. Get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. Turn it up! Turn it up! Get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. You got it. You got it. Come on, man.
the shirt. Looking good out there. Here we go. <laughs> right off the bat. All right. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Right back. One more. Great passing. Oh, Love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful Great pass. setup. There we go. Starting lineups just announced. We're just about set for basketball. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome everyone to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Denver Nuggets as they go up against the Oklahoma City Thunder with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke. This is Brian Anderson. Joining us from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. A look at the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. In at forward, it's Gordon Williams. Shea Gilgis-Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy, And it's Holmgren in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Denver, Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. MP is out there with Jamal Murray, and it's Porter in at the small forward position. And you know, Doris, looking at this game here tonight, both teams will be looking to involve their bigs often, it seems. You know, B.A., the idea that the big man is dead in basketball is out of the question. What's happening is bigs are getting more and more skilled. They're showing the value they have as versatile performers, and you absolutely love to see it. Now here's Holmgren. You know, Doris, when you think of the Oklahoma City Thunder, the days of the Rams, Westbrook, and Martin certainly come to mind. Boy, what a special time that was for this organization. There's no question. Those guys went on to win MVP awards. Now this front office wants to establish a fresh identity with a new young core. So much to look forward to. He throws good from Holmgren. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Murray finds Gordon. Williams against MP. Outside Murray. Five on the clock. Off target from three-point range. And it's Dort with the ball for Oklahoma City. Last time they met was in Oklahoma City. They lost the battle of the second units the last time these teams played and lost the game. Yeah, it's just too easy for Hall. Man, is he fun to watch operate off the catch? And Denver has possession after the basket by Oklahoma City. Murray passes to MP. Misses from short range. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Here's Giddy. And he Giddy. buries his first look. Josh Giddy at six foot eight, guys. That floater's going to be tough to deal with. Gordon outside on the wing quarter. minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. He gets it in there. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Pass to Giddy. Two shots, Giddy. two makes. Off to a good start. That's outstanding footwork by Josh Giddy. Finishing the painted area. I can do that too. Murray against Gilgis Alexander. Up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. <laughs> Those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Murray against Gilgis Alexander. And he drops it in from the low post. Boy, four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot around this morning. Doris, how about the production we've been seeing from Shea Gilgis Alexander? B.A., he has taken that step from star to superstar, simply stated. I think he's got the potential to make multiple All-NBA teams, the ability offensively to attack at three levels, and to be equally good on the defensive end of the floor. This guy is something special. Now here's Dort, 17 points in his last outing. 
Giddy against MP. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. And can't get it to go. Now one of two. That was their first miss of the game. Four for five right now. What a good start. On the wing, Murray. Unloads from 13. That falls. Nice speed from Jokic. Oh, man. I mean, the passing from Jokic is off the charts. Gave his man just a great look. Williams with it. Now Porter defending from deep. Holmgren. Jokic grabs the board. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Porter, the pass to MP. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. The Thunder have gone four of six in the first quarter. Gilgis Alexander against Murray. Giddy. Oh, and he can't make that one. Two for three now. It's first miss. Murray against Dort. Left side Murray. Pass to Jokic. On the wing, MP. Holmgren with the block. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. For the Nuggets. Jordan's checked in for Jokic. Brown comes in for Michael Porter. And Caldwell Pope is subbed in for MP. So it's Denver now. Four-point game. Shot clock at two. Two minutes remaining in the first. Murray, no good. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Gilgis Alexander looking it over. Pass to Joe. Inside, the kick out to Williams. Gordon with a steal. Here's Murray. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And now that we've had a decent percentage of the season completed, Doris, what do you think is crucial for these teams to focus on heading into the second half? I think for the most part, organizations start to hone in on a couple of things. Health, and then how do you pace yourself down the stretch of the season? You know, you see so much conversation about load management. Teams and players realize it's a very long season and the best is yet to come with the playoffs. The free throw drops from Murray. Grant, when teams come to play the Denver Nuggets, it's not just another regular game in a normal city. Yeah, I mean, the altitude of the Mile High City is an adjustment for many players, B.A. Even if some guys say it doesn't affect them, don't let them fool you. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. Trust me, I know. And the Thunder call time here. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Jackson, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Now here's Williams. Against Sacramento, he was really on his game. Pass to Waiters. Back to Williams. Launches it from deep. Rebound by the Nuggets. They want to keep rolling here, following the win against Brooklyn. Yeah, and what was really impressive was they stayed patient. The shot selection was excellent, and you see the results. Well, typically, Greg, great decision-making leads to great shooting percentages. I thought that team played a very smart game. We've got 108 left in the first quarter. Pass to Williams. To win the cold spell. Watson with a rebound. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table. The ability to anchor your defense. Here's Jordan. Second shot opportunity. 32 seconds left now in the first quarter. And that misses. That would have put him up. Wiggins passes to Waters. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Reggie Jackson. At the line for the Thunder, Waters taking two shots. Can't get the first one. Yeah. 
He hits the second from the line. 19 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Still no points. This one for three. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And at the end of one, a closely contested... The Thunder, 11. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And what do you guys think about the Thunder here in this one? The aggressiveness on defense has been infectious. Everyone's come to the party. I love it. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. On the floor for Oklahoma City, getting going in the second. They've got Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Also, Josh Giddy out there. Holmgren is out there with Lou Dort. And it's Williams in at the power forward. Murray against Gilgis Alexander. Murray passes to Gordon. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, Aaron Gordon welcomes the opportunity to be fouled. You cannot be careless with your defense. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Uh, to me, Aaron Gordon has all the tools you'd want from a player on the rise. Very good establishing chemistry with his teammates, and all the necessary attributes are there to take a big jump. Holiday's checked in for Caldwell Pope. He makes one or two that time. And with players like Moran and Giannis last season getting undercut around the rim, would you support moving the charge circle Shane out of foot grand? You know, yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, I don't see why not. The league wants more highlights and less injuries, so it seems to make a lot of sense to me. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Thunder are making dramatic improvement. Shea Gilgis-Alexander, now an all-star, says they're gaining confidence. He said, quote, we know we're getting better. I think guys are kind of getting addicted to that feeling and continuing to grow. Brian, they could be building something really special here. Yeah, you're right. They could. Skipping no steps either. Thanks, Allie. Kitty's got space. Denver grabs the miss. Boy, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. And it's Porter. That time on the assist by Jokic. Smart play there by Porter. Working his way inside to find a reliable, close-range look. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. It's Dort on the wing. Just five to shoot. Williams on the wing. 4-3. And that one fall for him. He's 0 for 2. The Nuggets trail. Ooh, it's stolen by Gilgis Alexander. To the middle. Here's Holmgren. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Holmgren's got six points. And they found a nice flow offensively here in the second period. Now a timeout called by Denver. That's a good timeout. They just can't hit anything. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. One more time. Your Denver Nuggets dance there. Gordon, the pass to Porter. Outside Murray. Holiday looking for an opening. Clock at six. The Nuggets need to get one up. And it's Jokic missing. For Oklahoma City, they've gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Pass to Dort. Back to Giddy. Can't get it to fall. And it's Porter with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. Trailing by five. Of the key he buries it he has six the offensive versatility of porter jr is impressive 
able to burn defenses in so many ways. Outside Giddy. And they call oh, an illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. The Nuggets making a switch here. Impeace checked in. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. Joe comes in for Giddy. Murray, shot is good. You gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now, here's Williams. Still without a bucket. Good work defensively by Gordon. Terrific rim protection impacting the shot. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. You've got to do more than this to stop Jokic. He's so adept at scoring on the defense. Outside Gilgis Alexander. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. And a new group getting ready for the Nuggets. Jordan's checked in for Jokic. Watson comes in for Gordon. Brown's checked in for Michael Porter. And it's Jackson in for Murray. Wiggins, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Waters comes in for Gilgis Alexander. The Nuggets have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Right now, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice flow to this offense right now. Kicks it out to Jackson. 151 left in the second, and the shot goes down. Jackson. Jackson's got his first bucket of the night. Well, Reggie Jackson getting more and more confident as the ball handler in pick and roll action. That is nicely done. Outside, Williams. To halt the run, and he lays it in. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. An interesting note on Jalen Williams. He was the first Santa Clara player drafted in 26 years. B.A., we know who that player you're talking about is. Obviously, Steve Nash was selected out of Santa Clara back in 1996. That one worked out pretty well. I think Jalen Williams will be special as well. Here's Joe. Eight points in his last time out. Jackson, pass to MP. 54 seconds left to play in the first half. Back to Jackson. Six to shoot. And again, Denver no good. And you'd like to go two for one here, Grant. And at the same time, you want to get a good shot here, B.A. Joe, the pass to Wiggins. And here's Holmgren. Here's Williams. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. Denver in the lead. 